Well, for decades, thousands of couples have said, I do, at the Mall of America's Chapel of Love. But while love may last forever, this chapel will not. Fox 9's Mary McGuire looks back at its history. More than 8,000 couples have tied the knot here in the middle of the mega mall. But at the end of this month, those wedding bells will come to an end. In a mall, very unusual. Very. <laughs> in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the biggest mall in America lies an oasis for love, tucked away on the third floor. I think that there is a niche for this business because not everybody walks down the same aisle. Open for nearly as long as the mall has been here, the Chapel of Love has married nearly 8,400 couples, averaging between three to 10 weddings every week. Larissa, will you have time to be your husband? It's quick, it's easy. We can do photos, flowers or videos. So everything was done right here. They could walk in, be happy and leave. Get a Cinnabon if they wanted to. And get a Cinnabon right on the roller coaster. <laughs> Owner Felicia Glass Wilcox was an engineer when she bought the business nearly two decades ago. And since then, she's done everything from floral arrangements to editing wedding photos. And she's met some special couples along the way. They were married at midnight. Like Holly and Amy, who got married the minute same-sex marriage was legalized in 2013. And it was huge. Uh, they had a bunch of people there. We had cupcakes. But after dozens of weddings, Glass Wilcox recently made the difficult decision to retire. The doors to the Chapel of Love will close on August 28th for good. Since making the announcement, she says she's gotten dozens of phone calls from happily married couples wanting to stop by one last time. But there's so many stories. I could literally go on and on and on for all the lovely people we've had. Now, as for what happens next in this space, we are told that the mall Santa will take up residence here come the holidays. Reporting in Bloomington, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. Well, then still a happy place. It'll it will go from the wedding chapel to the yes. North Pole. I'd like to just see like a, a big documentary on all the weddings oh that have taken place. Jennifer, there. you have a wedding coming up. How I about, do. How about it? October 1st.